When we come back, Toby McGuire debuts a new clothing line for people taking naps. Japanese consumers are bracing for bigger grocery bills. Domestic food makers are raising their prices from July 1st. The weaker yen and poor weather in producer countries have driven up the cost of imported raw materials. Nippon Meat Packers will raise the effective prices of its processed meat goods. It's reducing product volume to cope with the rising cost of livestock feed. Hams and sausages will be among 150 items affected by price hikes of 5 to 11 percent. Bread makers are following suit. Wholesale prices of flour were raised in June. Yamazaki Baking is increasing the shipping prices of some breads and pastries by up to 6 percent. Nishin Oilio Group is raising the price of cooking oil by 10 percent following a price hike in April. QP Corporation and Ajinomoto will also increase the prices of mayonnaise. The weaker yen is also putting a strain on producers of dried bonito. It's a staple product in Japanese cooking that gives the food a unique taste. This may look like a piece of wood, but it's actually one of the building blocks of Japanese cuisine. Dried, smoked, skipjack tuna, otherwise known as bonito. Chefs shave it into flakes and simmer it to make dashi, an umami-rich broth used in miso soup, udon, and many other dishes. Yamagawa on the southern island of Kyushu is a center of bonito processing. Fishing vessels arrive every two or three weeks, loaded with tuna from the Pacific. The fish are stored on ice for the long journey and arrive frozen. Yamagawa businesses produce around 11,000 tons of bonito a year. They simmer and smoke the fish to create that deep flavor. Hiroaki Sakai is the third generation owner of a bonito processor. He produces the very highest grade of fillets, but he's facing a serious problem. The price of frozen tuna has almost doubled over the past two years, driven by a weak yen and soaring demand for the fish abroad. Delivered by a man whose job it is to protect us from the truth. And Sakai is worried he'll lose his customers if he puts up his prices. We can't really afford to buy any more tuna, but all Bonito factories here keep production going, even when our businesses are in the red. It doesn't help that many people prefer the convenience of granulated stock. A survey by a Japanese university suggested that around 65% of adults now prefer the taste, too. Young Bonito processors in Yamagawa got together to discuss how to boost demand for their products. Project leader Hanayo Nishioka suggested emphasizing the quality of natural ingredients. They decided to focus on a top-grade bonito called Honkare Bushi. An ordinary fillet is smoked several times over two weeks. To make Honkare Bushi, producers then carve it into an aesthetically pleasing shape. They spray it with a mold, leave it to ferment, then take it outside to dry. They repeat this process for six months to a year. The end product sells for up to 150 U.S. dollars per kilo. Top Japanese chefs use this high-grade bonito for its milder, more delicate flavor. But you'll find it at more humble restaurants, too. Nishioka asked a local ramen shop to help promote the product. Honkare Bushi Ramen went on sale in April, and it's proven to be a big hit. Customers slurp down about 300 bowls a day. I love the rich aroma of the soup. I can drink it all up. The Bonito makers have been trying to win young fans, too. They've been taking their fillets and flakes to kindergartens. Has anyone tried dried Bonito flakes? 
children and their parents tried soup made with the premium bonito. Most of them have grown used to the flavor of instant stock, but the parents were keen for their children to taste the difference. It would be nice if my daughter could enjoy natural bonito once in a while. We hope to expand this campaign to the whole prefecture, then the country, and eventually worldwide. What the fuck? It's a small start, but Nishioka, Sakai, and the other producers believe they can survive soaring fish prices by convincing people to get their umami the old-fashioned, natural way. I'm watching the bankers starve the world And I'm watching illegal and unjust wars I'm watching nuclear meltdowns and pollution While the vast majority continue to snore I'm watching the surveillance state be built And I'm watching the march to World War III all over the net Actually I'm not Cause I don't wanna see I'm watching a charade of politicians Being controlled by secret societies <laughs> China is taking the lead to break the deadlock on North Korea's nuclear issue. Its foreign minister says he has urged his North Korean counterpart to work toward resuming the stalled six-party talks. Wang Yi met with Pak Chun on the sidelines of the ASEAN foreign ministers meeting in Brunei. Wang said after the meeting that China is continuing to make efforts to achieve the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. He said he requested North Korea to work with relevant countries to open dialogue toward the resumption of the six-party talks. Puck's response was unknown. North Korea told China last month that it is willing to accept any form of negotiations, including a restart of the six-party talks that were last held in 2008. Japan and the United States are requesting that North Korea take concrete action to abandon its nuclear program before a resumption. I appreciate the tenor of the conversations. Uh, I think it will actually yield results uh, before the end of the year, and I look forward to continuing this dialogue in the months ahead. Thank you very much, everybody.